Hello everyone, I welcome you all to the Infinity Division platform. Right now I'll be doing one such question that came in your NEET examination. This question came on NEET 2020, so let us see this question first. Question says, a ray is incident at an angle of incidence I on one surface of a small angle prism with angle of a uh, prism A and the emergent emerges normally from the opposite surface. So you have been given a prism in which this angle of a prism is very small okay and incident light comes and hit the surface okay and this angle of incidence is I which is given to you okay after this it will it just goes and hit the other surface perpendicularly so it goes and it makes an angle of 90 degree on the other surface okay and emerges normally from the opposite surface. so that means it will go just like this okay so it will gonna hit normally to this other another surface and keep on moving just like this if the refractive index of a material of a prism is mu so the refractive index of this material is let it be mu then angle of incidence is nearly equal to so what would be the angle of incidence i that you need to find out in the terms of a and mu okay so we know that if this angle is 90 degree and this angle is a so this must be equal to 90 90 minus a if this 90 minus a so that means this angle must be equal to a don't you think this is in this particular triangle this angle is 90 this angle is a so this angle is 90 minus a so this must be equal because since this is normal so this angle of refraction must be equal to a now we can easily make use of uh, Snell's law Snell's law says sine of the angle of incidence to the sine of the angle of uh, 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 the the ratio of the sine of the angle of incidence to the sine of the angle of refraction is constant between the two surfaces that is equivalent to the ratio of the refractive index so we'll be using the same thing so you can easily write it as we know that Snell's law is can also be written as n1 sine theta1 must be equal to n2 sine theta2 where n1 is the refractive index of one medium and angle of incidence in medium one n2 is the refractive index of second medium and uh, angle of refraction in the second medium so in this angle uh, this refractive index of air is one refract angle of incidence is sin i must be equal to mu times sine of a because angle of refraction over here is a okay from this you can easily uh, write it uh, write it as sin i by sin a must be equal to mu okay since this angle is very much small so that means if this angle is very much small so that means angle of incidence would also be small okay so if angle uh, if sine of the angle the angle uh, angle of incidence is very small so that means for a smaller angle we know that if sine theta is very much small so this is nearly equivalent to theta so these two terms must be equal to i by a which is nothing but mu so i comes out to be mu times of a so this is the final expression that we are getting this can only be uh, this can only be right only when this angle of incident uh, this angle of a prism is very much small okay so the answer that we are getting is b okay i hope this question is clear to everyone thank you